Don't try this at home. This is blindfolded hairdressing. Ah! Alright guys, welcome back to another video. Uh, this is one that is not to be tried at home. Uh, it's going to be some good fun, uh, but do not try this at home uh, and check out blindfolded hairdressing. At the beginning of lockdown, everyone was having bad lockdown haircuts, but Emma's been cutting my hair for a while. I didn't say badly. I didn't <laughs> say badly. <laughs> for most of our marriage anyway. So it's to make it a bit more interesting, I'm going to blindfold her and then she's going to have to cut my hair. So before I put on the blindfold, I'll just go through the rules. What are the rules? Rule number one. You cannot touch the beard. Okay. Rule number, <laughs> rule number two. Uh, you will lose points for cutting off my ears and my nose. If you get my nose, I don't really know what you've done wrong. I'll blindfold you now. Scared I'm going to shave my own head. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like my eyebrows are really long. <laughs> Did you just make a weird face? No. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing happened whatsoever. That's not funny. <laughs> We're very <even> funny. <laughs> Eyebrow. I'm going to be more disappointed if you do this well. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I'm not. Maybe it's like an unfound skill though. Give us a, a thumbs up if you think she's doing a good job. Oh, that was nearly the year. <laughs> that was very much nearly the year. Like, that might have to be. 
Yep, to take off your take off your blindfold. There's definitely some longer and short bits. The big old long bit here. <laughs> Welcome back to another fireside chat with Nick, still sporting the random patched uh, haircut. I just wanted to talk to you about identity. Because you see, when I was younger, I put a lot of my identity into my hair. Uh, for me, the way my hair looked kind of made me feel whether I was going to look good that day. I can look at pictures and tell you exactly what my hobbies were based on my hairstyle at the time. My hair really became a big identity to the, the point that I once spent or had a hairstyle that cost cost £655. It's not even that good a hairstyle. I had a hairstyle that cost £655. Five pounds of that was on the hair dye. 650 pounds of that was on a carpet in a hotel but we also died by accident me and the person dyeing my hair and i'd actually just started my gap year so the company that i was working for for that year had to pay with me paying them back later to begin with that was a big thing for me it was it was a bragging right to be able to say this hair cost 655 pounds but by the end of the year Everyone in the school knew me because of this mistake. They were coming up to me at the end of the, the day going, are you the guy who spent 600, over 600 quid on hair? And I had a really tough year. And I didn't particularly want to remember my mistakes from that year. And this big mistake at the very beginning of the year, day two or three of working in, for this organization, and it really hurt me. So I, when the year finished, I went home. I walked into a barber shop. And I said, cut it off. Cut it all off. Cut everything. And I went down to pretty much what I've got now. Because I blamed my hair for all of my mistakes. That had become too much of my identity. But I can sit here now and talk to you because actually I know that my identity is not rooted in my hair. It's not rooted in the top of my head. It's rooted in Christ. And when I talk, uh, um, when I draw closer to Christ, I find out more about myself. When I learn more about Jesus, I learn more about myself. And I know without a shadow of a doubt that he loves me, that he thinks I'm precious. It says in the Bible in Corinthians about being jars of clay. In biblical times, a jar of clay was nothing special. It was a box on a shelf. But Paul in Corinthians writes, God puts his precious jewels in jars of clay. We are the jars of clay and God has put his treasure in us. And with that, I identify solely on who Christ is to me. You ready? I'm ready. <laughs> I don't know, is there going to be a countdown or something? <laughs> <laughs>